Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to dupe the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. Before I'm going to dupe it with all of my palettes that I have here besides me, it's actually really insane how many palettes I have and singles. I'm just going to talk to you guys about why I'm not going to buy it anymore. When it was released not very long time ago, I got this massive FOMO cloud over my head, if you can say it like that. The only thing I could think of was this palette and how much I wanted it and for once I didn't want to miss out on it. Everything about it was so beautiful, the packaging was spot on, it was so cute. Alice, she talked about it in a recent video on how it reminded her of Shrek and I totally agree because there is this gingerbread man in Shrek which I love. He's He's so adorable and fun. So of course I showed Amanda it because I show her everything that I really want uh, makeup wise. And she just told me that she duped it. I knew straight away it was a Clone Wars video so Amanda and Jessica duped it with their shadows. And I went ahead and duped it with my collection. And as they mentioned in their videos it's not a exact exact dupe because they don't own it. I don't own it, I just went with the pictures <laughs> that I could find on the internet. So that is where I come from. But I got this massive FOMO because I was just so afraid of missing out on it because it was just so beautiful and I never really splurged that much on makeup. I do have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar that I'm going to show you but I don't have anything else from Too Faced and I have just been in the mindset that I have missed out on so much. <laughs> Why I'm not going to buy it is because I have duped it. It's not a perfect dupe but I already own most of the shades in the palette and it's just another warm neutral palette with a bit more variety of the metallic shimmer shades. Those shadows that I can't do with my own stash, I can get in a single form and I'm going to be happy with that. But right now I really don't need it, but it's especially that gold olive green shade kind of that is in the palette that is so unique and I don't really have any green olive shades that is that metallic. Some of the shades I just find very unique, but I'm pretty sure there are singles out there that can dupe those few shadows that I can't make perfect in my swatches when I do that in a minute. It's basically just a new warm palette out there with a little bit of variety and a different packaging. I just need to say that to myself and you don't miss out on it because they will not add any value to your collection anyway. I haven't done a dupe video on my channel before but I was really inspired about this palette because I wanted it so much at that time when it was released. And before I ramble way too much, um, I think we should just get on with the duping and swatching on my arm. I will have the palette on the screen a picture of it so you can see what shades and stuff I'm going to talk about. So the first shadow is called Powdered Sugar and that is just a matte beige white shade I would use to set my primer. And I'm going in with... Uh, oh my god, this is so... It's just so big enough. That makes me so sad, I just realized that. But it is a palette from Neil Shore, it is a Danish brand. And this is called Eyeshadow Symphony Number no. 3. This was limited edition last year, last Christmas. And I'm going in with this shade. So that is the first shade, powdered sugar. And the next one is Frostbite Me. And that shade comes from the Balm, Balm Jewelry Rockstar Palette. And I chose Metallica, this shade right here. This is a very white, silvery shimmer shade. This one. And then we have Sugar Daddy and that is more of a pinky cream shade and I chose a franking shadow that I actually have done in my Too Faced Chocolate Bar and that is a mixture of white chocolate and um, strawberry bonbon. 
So if I haven't repressed white chocolate and strawberry bonbon together, I would just have chosen strawberry bonbon. But I did repress them together, so it's this pinky beige shade that I use to set my primer at the moment. Oh, there's some leftover shimmer in that one from the other shade. Just realized. This this one right there. So the next one is spiked. Eggnog and I am going in with my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and I'm going to be using bath water and that is a beautiful champagne goldy shimmer shade <laughs> and it looks like this the next one is Lucky at my cookie and I chose a shadow from my new tooth palette from the balm and this is a more matte pinky shade and I chose stubborn for that one this one right there so this is more of a matte satin shade so I thought this would be very very nice very very pale so these are some shades that you can definitely find in your collection the next one is from my C palette and that is going to be a dupe for the figgy pudding and that is kind of a satin satin matte as well and I have makeup geek anarchy this one this is such a beautiful shade I love it that one right there and in the picture here I have, it's more, it's a little bit darker and a little bit more purple, but yeah, it's okay. I think it is a very good match in the pan though, so that is that. Then we have the third row and, and there is this bright pink shade, it is called Gumdrop. And I'm going in with my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette uh, in Brights. I'm of course taking this shade right there, the bright pink one. Look at it. So beautiful. These needs a little bit building up, but there's a bright pink one. So yeah. Then we have Spice is Nice. It comes from my Morphe 35OM palette. And I was really torn in which orange I was supposed to pick but I went with this one right there okay this is kind of light isn't it if I needed a perfect orange shade from that palette it would be probably be that one but I would maybe mix some shades from this palette to make the exact dupe but I'm not going to do that today. Then we have Hot Toddy, and that is a beautiful kind of duochrome type of pinky purple shade, which is so beautiful, but I don't have anything exact. I'm going in with W7 Dusk Till Dawn palette, and I'm going to go in with this shade right there, which is called Mojave or something. This is a beautiful shimmery purple that I thought could be a really nice dupe. This is kind of powdery. It's beautiful, more beautiful on the eye though. Damn it. This one. Right there. Can you see it? It's so beautiful. For gingerbread, I'm going in with my W7 Life's a Peach. One, maybe I could have taken the Morphe one, but I didn't. I'm going in with Delicious. This one right there. This one brown there. There. Yeah. This orange could have been more bright when I look at the new picture, but I didn't. <laughs> I just needed to go get some cleansing water or something to clean up my fingers <laughs> then we have oh snap and that is a very very beautiful champagne color it's a little bit darker than spiked eggnog and again we are going in with the dusk till dawn palette by w7 and because it's more pinky i'm going in with this shade called wilderness 
that one right there. Then we have reindeer paws and this is a very dark brown purple shade. That shade is matte but I have chosen a shade from the chocolate bar by Too Faced that is a shimmer and that is Black Forest Truffle right there. I have used it today in my outer corner and the shimmer just didn't show up so I thought this could be a beautiful shade for that. This is a dark purple, very very dark purple shade and so it is this. And sometimes it even looks brown, apparently. Then we have Warm and Toasty and that is a beautiful gold shade. And I chose a Kiko single for that and it is in the shade 18 and it is a high pigment, high pigment shadow. This one, it's beautiful. Look at it. I'm not very good at swatching with my left hand, so. Wish me luck. I was in love when I swatched it in the Kiko store. I'm just even more in love now. And then we have Bake It Till You Make It, which is a beautiful burgundy shimmer. I'm actually going to dig into my Too Faced chocolate bar again and I'm going to pick Amaretto right there. This is a little, little bit darker than in the palette, but it is a beautiful maroon shimmer shade. I need some more cleansing water. And then we have gingerbread latte, and that is a very pale brown crease shade. I'm going in with my Morphe 35OM again, and I'm going to take, and I'm going in with that shade right there. The Morphe palettes really come in hand when I'm going to swatch these matte shades. This one right there. And then the last three shades is O Burn. And I went into my Vice 4 palette. Underhand, this beautiful purple right there. This one. And then we have Spice of Life, which were the more goldy olive green shade that I was really really drawn to just because in the Too Faced chocolate bar there was gilded ganache and that is just a brown, a muddy brown no olive green about that one I went into my other Morphe palette which is the 35k I chose this one right there I don't have an olive, olive metallic shade so. This is one we're working with, a gold, because this is a more bronzy gold, so I thought it was going to be nice. I know it's not exact, don't kill me, but I could mix that shade with some of the greens in my NYX palette, and then it will be amazing, but I haven't, so. The last shade is from a single, and the shade I'm going to do is called Spiced Rum, and I have a Kiko single here in... And that is also a high pigment and that is called 54. This one right here. This is so beautiful. I love these single shadows. I only have these two. This is not a very good dupe, but it has kind of a more purple undertone, if you can see. This is my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Dupe palette. I'm very excited about it because I actually think this is a very nice dupe. Um, I'm just shopping my stash and I can definitely recommend doing that because you really don't need another warm tone palette and as you can see in all of these palettes that I have swatched today I have so many neutrals so it doesn't really matter and I have a lot, a lot of warm neutrals I don't need another palette honestly I have so many palettes and so many shadows and I don't go through them fast enough to justify me buying so many more so this is what i am working with i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to like this video if you did subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any other videos and please check out the clone wars that amanda and jessica did down in the description box which is great and i'm going to do that so much more often now but yeah, this is my first attempt of doing a palette. So until my next video, please take care of yourself and I will see you then. Bye.